hola, hello, welcome and welcome back. I am EJ, the owner of EJ's Creation. Um, and today's vlog is more of a chatty vlog than anything else because honestly, I haven't really been doing much other than prepping for this estate sale this weekend. Today is, today is September 23rd. Um, and our estate sale is the 27, 28, and 29. So it's this weekend, so we have just been full force prepping for that. And I put market stuff on hold because I thought I had enough. You know, I do have a way more than enough. And um, so I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna crochet or do anything more for market uh, prepping and just focus on this because honestly, if I'm just gonna be honest with you, I want to move already. <laughs> I am looking forward to this new state that we're moving to. I looked up a lot of like market, you know, market, um, what do I want to say, opportunities out there. And I found that there are some market opportunities that actually have a store and they don't have things that I do. And so I am, I am being optimistic and I'm excited about this move and the opportunity that it will give my small business. Um, Cause as you mentioned, as I mentioned you, not you, me, as I mentioned many blogs ago that I was considering closing and just not even bothering with the small business. But honestly, it, it rips my heart when I think about that. Like it just rips my heart in half. I enjoy crocheting, I enjoy making things, and it just, I just think that this new state is really gonna open up a lot of avenues for me when it comes to that, in that direction as my small business. I know that, you know, for October, you know, till the beginning of next year, I'm probably going to be stagnant as far as, you know, doing any shows, unless I can get into a farmer's market or if I can get into one of the stores, then then of course then we'll have, pro, you know, we'll be prepping for that. So that's something that I'm gonna get into like right away. I'm gonna go visit the, the locations and see if I can get my product in the store. Um, and if it does, if then that would be amazing. Um, but I love doing markets. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun meeting new people and just you know hearing their ideas and perspective of handmade, um, you know, crafty things. So I think in the last vlog, I showed you Mr. and, or Santa Claus, uh, Mrs. and Mr., Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, and um, they didn't have eyes. Well, guess what? They can see now. They absolutely can see now. So I, I made them some eyes. Here's Mrs. Claus. And then here is Mr. I did it a little different than the pattern or than the tutorial. And honestly, what I, I honestly did every, I, I used a bigger hook because I think in the video she uses a 2.5 or 2.75, something like that. She uses a smaller hook while I used a bigger hook. I think I used a 3.75 or a 4.25. I don't remember. I did write it down though. So I'd used one of, the, one of those sizes. So my, my plushies or my Santas are a little bit bigger and her eyes are above the glasses because the glasses are smaller. Um, I made the, cla the glasses to fit their face and then I did the eyes inside the glasses as you can see here. Um, where in the, in the video she has the eyes up here and the glasses are even smaller. But I, I wanted the glasses to fit their face. I think that they look cute this way. Um, hopefully you can see that. I don't do, I'm not perfect with these type of embroidery eye or embroidered eyes or this particular one. Um, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. You know, they, they don't look horrible. <laughs> I don't think they look horrible. So, um, they have eyes, so they're, they're good. They can see now they can see what they're doing, where they're going. Uh, Mrs. Claus can see what she's baking. And so that was you know, one of the things I kept, my husband kept saying, when are you going to put eyes on them? When are you going to put eyes on them? And I was just like trying to avoid it. I, I was avoiding it because I had to embroider these eyes on them. And they're not just like a line, you know, you, you, it, yeah, well, you know how they did, you know, you, you know how to embroider eyes. I hope you do. I had to learn. I didn't know. Um, but I do have to share one more crocheted item that I have that I just made today. 
I just can't help myself, you guys. I just can't. This yarn was out because uh, I hadn't packed it yet. That these, you know, the, it's the yarn from you doing this, the Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And I thought, you know what? What if I do this? Because I just can't help myself. I have to be doing something. I have to keep making something. Like I was so bored. Um, bored but not bored does that make sense like I was bored but busy I was busy doing things I didn't want to do but I was bored because when I sat idle I was like what am I gonna do with myself like my hands were just I had to do something right so today this morning I was like let me go ahead and make something and I was like what can I do I have this yarn right here and I'm like what can I do and then it crossed my mind in my last vlog I show I'll, I'll try to link it above um, either here or here one of these corners here or in the description um, I shared a shirt that I embroidered that had a ghosty um, uh, with a cowboy hat on it well you guys I just had to do it I just had to do it is this not cute and look at the hat comes off so I am thinking since I made the witch hat, witch, witch hatches, witch hats as well. I don't know where I was going with that, but anyways, I made the 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 witches the witch hat that can kind of trade off. So um, I only made two witches witches hat. So I'm gonna make some more because I do have the black out too, and so I think. I'm gonna make the ghost just look, look like this. Now, I saw this on Instagram. This is not my original pattern. I saw it on Instagram, but the ghost had some weird hands, arms on it. And I was like, you know what? My ghosts don't need no arms. They, they don't need no arms. Like, what, what ghost? No, they don't need no arms. So I'm just gonna do my ghost with no arms and just the hat. And I embroidered the eyes. Now, I can do these kind of eyes. Like, the, that's not hard at all. But the Santa eyes, that was hard for me. But I did it and I know the more that I do the better I'll get but yeah so I made this little ghost and I think he looks so cute especially with this hat um, and I think that that's gonna go really cute with that shirt now I know I said I wasn't gonna do anymore because I'm moving and all of this stuff but honestly all of the estate sale items are all done like it's all out it's all not all price I will say 90% price, uh, but I still have the rest of this week. I have what, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to still price, which isn't going to take me that long. It doesn't only take me one day and not even an hour to finish pricing, and that's all downstairs, and there's not that much downstairs. There's bigger ticket items downstairs than there are up here. Um, the, the craft room was the hardest because... I was like, should I sell this? And should I bundle this? Should I do this? Like, so um, that was like time consuming and the hardest to kind of figure out the pricing and if I wanted to bundle or not. And I'll kind of show you over there. We'll go over to the craft room so you could see. I broke down the middle cutting table um, and so that I just need to push that into the closet that it's going to be housed in. Or I might just stick a sticker on there and say, not for sale because closet is a mess um i had it organized but as i was going through things i had to move things around and then there's a lot of empty boxes that i put in there because as um in the last vlog i mentioned that when we moved here i didn't unbox everything and then now that we're doing this estate so i unboxed that so that empty box is in there um so anyway, it's a hot mess, but that's, this is all I've crocheted. I'm doing some more. I'm doing all the little hats first, and then um, I'll do all the ghosts later, and then I could stuff them as I'm watching a movie. But, um, you know, it's about three o'clock right now, so I am going to do some more hats. And there, I'm only going to do the red. Like, I'm not going to go into the closet, try to find the bag of yarn, because I did put it in one of them moving bags so it has a zipper um, and, and try to find colors from there. Like, no, we're just going to have red hats. And in that, on the shirt, I did do like a greenish, reddish type of a thread. It's a very, it's a mixed color. Now, I don't know what's wrong with my words today, you guys. 
I was perfectly fine earlier and then I turned the camera on and now I'm just lost for words. Like, I don't get it. Anyways, this room is also almost ready. Um, I just need to break down that back shelf. Um, I am keeping two of the, I don't know what they're called, those little drawers that you put under the desk. I'm keeping two. I decided that I was going to keep two. Um, and then the standing desk, I need to pull out there today or tomorrow. That way I could just reposition this and then I'll have more space to break down that back um, shelf. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't take that long because I broke two down in that other room. And then I just put all the screws and stuff in a baggie and I tape it. And then we have this wrap, that furniture wrap, and I wrapped all the pieces together so that they wouldn't get lost and they are together. There are no loose pieces. Um, but yeah, so basically that's all I've done. And as far as crochet, as I showed you, I've only done the ghost. Um, and I'm going to do a couple more. I'm not going to do maybe like six. I'll do six. So this is what I'll have five more to do. So I'm getting all the hats done first. And so we've got one hat done. Excuse me. I need what? Four more because I'm going to do about six of them. And I think that's a good, good number six just to have. Um, and I don't mind having the smaller stuff. I am probably going to run a sale on the website. Uh, since we paid up through the end of the month, I was like, you know what, let me run a sale, see if I can get some sales in. So I'm going to do that probably either later today or tomorrow, the 24th, and I'm going to cut some prices in half. Yes. I'm also doing some mystery boxes, but those are strictly going to be for the market. Um, and you know, I'm going to try to sell a lot within four hours. Um, I've got the bracelets done, you guys. Uh all here we have two bags of bracelets done i think i counted uh let me see if i still have my inventory count here i have i'm just gonna look in my little folder i have 44 bracelets so it's all written here i wrote each one down and i'm selling them for 25 dollars each so that's if you know that not all of them are on the on the um, website but some there's a handful that are they're $25 and a total of $1100 so there's that much and then I have I have like I'll just kind of give you a rundown of what I have um cups I have quite a bit of cups I haven't priced them yet um, because I'm going to do a price drop on that for the market only. Um, and then sweatshirts, I have two discounted sweatshirts and I'm just going to let them go for $20 each. I know that's really cheap, but you know, they're both 2XL. So I'm going to go ahead and let those, and this is market only. Uh, so those will be for $20. They're not listed on the website. Now, if they don't sell at the, at the market, then I will list discounted price and list those discounted sweatshirts on the website. But total, I have about $1,800 in um, regular price sweatshirts. And I have not even counted t-shirts yet because I'm still doing inventory on t-shirts. Um, but as far as sweatshirts, I did. I didn't count how many I have because of the different sizing. But I may do that later. Um, I was using my calculator, and that's how I know how much I have. And then plushies, I'm not done taking inventory on those. Um, I have for the most part, but again, now I've got to add the ghost in because, well, why not? Um, so I'm still working on that and I think I'm going to do that after the estate sale and that like that Monday. So it would probably be what Monday the let's take a look here. It's going to be Monday the 30th that I will count all of the um, plushies because the, the last day for the estate sale is the 29th. And then that way I can pull everything out and not 
worry that it's going to get mixed up with the state sale stuff. Um, and because the 5th, October 5th, is our market. So this weekend is the state sale following market. The following weekend is our market. And uh, I want to make sure that I have counted, account, inventoried everything. I don't know why words are so hard today, but they are. Um, so yeah, so but I'll, I will do the final count on the 30th because who knows, I might add more stuff knowing me because I'll finish these little ghosts today and then I, what am I going to do? I'm going to twiddle my thumbs and I'm going to be like, what else can I do? And I'm, I'm looking for things that um, are quick and easy, you know, that I can just whip up in, in one day. And the ghosts, obviously, I can do that. So there is that. But let me go and take you over the other room so you can get an idea of what this estate still looks like. Everything in the room is for, well, not, I don't want to say everything. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so here is what the room is looking like right now. I took out the center um, cutting table. Um, of course, this is my sign for the show. I'm going to take it out, put it in the other room. Um, we have some vintage uh, pictures here that are going to be up for sale. There's the furniture wrap, but as you can see, we'll start here. We've got the carts there for sale. We have the sewing machine. The sewing machine does, I'm going to clear that up, that, you know, uh, the hats my daughter's, and then I'm using these supplies still. But all of this goes with the sewing machine. And then we have the craft table and the embroidery thread. And um, let me move this ironing board this craft ironing board is not for sale I'm gonna put that up after this I should have done it before so you can get an idea of what's for sale but I am selling my embroidery machine so it comes with everything that you see here um, and the hoops are on the side I'm gonna actually string the hoops together but there's all the embroidery thread that I have for it and then the heat press and the heat press, heat press attachments down there and then we have the Destiny, the sewing machine slash embroidery machine there. And these are, there's the luggage it comes in. And that there is the embroidery bag. It has all the embroidery hoops, the scanner. And I do like that about this machine is you can literally scan a picture and embroider that picture onto the item. We've done that with my um, our, our family Pekingese who's passed already. And we did little shirts with his little picture on there. It was so cute. But anyway, so there's a scanner and a knee lift in that bag. Um, but that machine goes in that luggage. So there's that. That sewing table is for sale. Um, I really love that sewing table. I didn't really get to use it much. But because we are going to be moving to a smaller place, we don't even know where yet, but... Um, we know it's going to be not a house and the home, it seems like a lot of the properties are a little bit smaller over there so um this isn't going to fit so i have to part with it my chair is not going to be for sale i'm going to take that because that's a brand new leather chair it's actually a leather and then we have um the tool to make tutus all, all those are there brand new those ones are not new but um they're new but they're cut they're just not in a package so because i was making tutus and then come along to these tubes oh, not the bed the dog bed's my dog he has to have a bed in every room but we're going to be moving that next you know on wednesday it'll or thursday it'll be out of here uh so all of these things here are for sale including the the tubes those ikea tube thingies i don't know what they're called all of that is for sale. That vintage sewing machine there is for sale. The knitting machine that I never knit, not a, it's a knitting loom, I guess. I haven't even used it. That bag of vinyl um, bracelets, and I have more bracelets to put out. See, this is the middle cutting table. I'm not selling that. That's actually gonna be put into the other room. And then I'm not selling my uh, dress form, so I'm keeping that. So I'm going to move that into the other room as well and that mirror behind it. And then that cube is for sale and then the stuff that's in the, in the inside the cubes, except for my shipping um, wire, that's going to be put away. That's why that box is there because that's like last minute things that are going to be put in there. Um, the Cricut, I'm just going to wrap it up with that furniture wrap and with the cords with it 
and then put that up and then that little table is for sale um well craft table i'm gonna put it downstairs and that's gonna be the checkout and then on sunday i'll put it out for sale but that is for sale all of what's in the closet all those clothes in there um the printer there's a printer you can see right there and that dresser is for sale um these duny burks and michael kors bags um there's more duny burks i need to bring out in price and a lot of fine, uh, designer shoes as well and then this is a bunch of like zipper pulls and this is disney a mix of disney zipper pulls and then like seat belt webbing because i was making bags just a bunch of zipper different zip, zipper pulls and stuff so and then I'm going to put more stuff on the shelf. So there's another, I think that's a London fog. I don't remember. That was my mom's bag. Those were my mom's bags. And so this is what this room is start, is looking like. It's empty. It's pretty big. Um, I loved that I had this big, state, this big space. But honestly, the lighting was horrible. I don't feel comfortable in this room at all. Like, I don't know. It's hard for me to explain to you. But... So I was not, uh, I wasn't in here a lot, is what I'm saying. Okay, so there is that. That is the room. So let me go ahead and um, take you into the office. So that is what that room is looking like. And excuse that I'm wearing this ugly t-shirt. I am just, uh, because I was still, you know, cleaning and doing stuff like that. And I'm about to leave to go wash my cars um, I have two cars, I have a small little a Honda Civic that was my mom's, I've got to wash that one, and then I have this SUV that I need to wash, and it's black, so that one's like harder to wash and keep clean, but I usually just go to the car wash, wash it, vacuum it out, come back and detail it in the garage, and leave it in the garage until I'm ready to drive it again, and then I just normally drive around my mom's little car, um, but yeah, so that is what I've been up to, that's what I have um, I think the next video I want to share maybe some projects that I want to make crochet related. Um, you know, kind of share that with you because there's quite a bit. Uh, and I think, you know what, what if I break it down and I say, you know, I'm going to make this at this time, make this. So I'm going to kind of go through all of the patterns and where you can get them and all that and put that, compile that together in the next few days. So this way I can have this video out for you and share that with you. And again, that's just going to be me sharing all the pro all the crochet projects that I would like to do. And they're going to probably vary. They're probably, maybe I should do different videos. Maybe one for agar, agar stuffies, plushies. I don't know. Uh, maybe one for housewares. Maybe one for wearables. Um, because they're all different, honestly. All of the projects. But there are definitely some plushies that I want to do. Um, yeah, I think maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll break it down a category so that way it's not a long-winded video. And then that way, if you only want to know what plushies I want to make, you just can watch that video. And if you're not interested in the other ones, then you don't have to watch those. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do in the next video that I have up for you because, as you guys already know, we are going to be moving. I'm going to try to vlog the market which is October 5th, that's next weekend. I feel like I've been prepping this for a year and it hasn't even been that long, but um, I'm excited to, to you know say goodbye. My last market in Texas, you guys, it's bittersweet because um, I love that area in the North Houston area. I love that, I love being there, but I just don't like the heat. The humidity and the bugs i can't go outside without being bit uh so yeah and i'm i'm really embrace i'm looking forward to this new beginning this change um to this new state and i will reveal it to you once we're ready to go but um i found my my dog's little beanie and he's definitely going to need it my daughter crocheted this for him and look how cute isn't that cute you guys look at that little beanie that's where his ears go look and um yeah i i for those of you that don't know i lived in illinois for a very very short period um and then moved right back to la um well 
not back to well yeah back to LA because I lived there before I moved to Illinois and then I was like nope gotta go back and I moved back and uh, my dog was not happy with the amount of snow there was and so we had his little beanie on him whenever we took him out and his little jacket he's definitely going to need it because it's going to be cooler colder cold I should say not colder cold there because here in, in, in Texas it's not that cold it does get cold for like a, a week or two in January or February I don't know I mean I'm exaggerating I'm sure it's more than that but it doesn't stay cold now over there we're going to be able to wear our boots our sweater well not we me I'll get to wear my boots um and honestly I had to get rid of two uh, boots one of them was brand new because I had them in store and with the heat it literally cracked the leather like I, they were unrepairable so I had to get rid of them and it really pains me because they were expensive and the other ones were my favorite boots they were not new but they were my favorite boots and I had to get rid of them but I found I found them I found a new pair and um, I bought them and I can't wait to wear them. I can't wait to wear them. Like, yeah. Anyways, enough of me babble, just chatting about what I'm going to wear. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just show you the little cute crochet hat my daughter made for my dog a few years ago. Eight years ago to be exact. And we still have it and he's going to have to wear it. And um, I bet you this would fit on him. I wonder how he would look. I should take a picture of him. He is dead asleep. Maybe on my little bunny. Oh, let's talk about my bunnies real quick before I go. I had to go get my bunnies fixed, right? And um, I just thought that, you know, because my daughter works at the veterinary in hospital, it'd be easier. She took, you know, took them in. She had them, she helped the assist the doctors do the procedures. And as they were doing the procedure, you know, my daughter sends me a text and says, um, plot twist. And I was like, plot twist? What? And, and she says, Penelope is not Penelope. Penelope is boy. I was like, what? So the lady that sold me the bunnies sold me a boy and a girl, which she thought there were two girls. And maybe she mixed the other one that was a girl. I don't know what happened. But anyways. My husband and I had a feeling that Penelope was a boy, but I was like, no, no, I don't think so. Um, I think it's a girl. We had no way of knowing. It was a big fur ball. We don't know, right? My bunnies are Teddy Whiters, if you're not familiar with them. They're very furry. And um, so they have their procedures and they are in their little pen. I don't want them like running around right now uh, because, you know, I don't want them to get hurt. And um, Wednesday will be a week that they've had it done. And so now we have Coco Chanel, and then we named the baby boy. He's so tiny, he's like not even three pounds, and he, they're already full grown. Coco Chanel is four pounds, and then uh, we named him Hermes, and Hermes is a little under three pounds, and he is so tiny, and he's so adorable, and they both are. They both are. They're well tempered. They're well behaved. Um, they do let me know when they want my attention though. And they know when I'm coming because their little ears are like up and normally their ears are down, right? Because they're teddy white ears. So their their bunny ears are down. But they know I'm coming. They get so excited. You can hear them run to the door of their little house area. So they have a pin and then they have like a house connected to it. And I had to shorten it and move it from the big room into the other bedroom that was my husband's like hangout room um, because of the state cell. You know, I didn't want anyone bothering them. Plus, they just had their little their little surgery, so I didn't want anything you know to upset them. So moved them in there, and I had to make their pen a little bit smaller. And um, but I think it's okay. They're they're fine. And then, well, I don't know what's going to happen with the new place. I'm hoping that uh, we saw a place online. Um, it's, a, it's actually a townhouse, but it's three-story. Anyway, let me not tell you about that right now. We'll talk about that when I actually move. 
Anyways, I wanted to tell you about my bunnies and what happened. The plot twist was Penelope wasn't a girl. She's actually a boy. So now he, he's Hermes. So we have Coco Chanel and Hermes. And I will um, show you them some other time, uh, maybe in the next vlog. And I'll thank you for hanging out with me. And I'll just talk to you soon. Bye.